Hello, James George, and this is Creative Beacon, and this week I got something kind of cool for you. Um, so, it's going to be an illustrator, and uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with brushes and with patterns. And so, uh, the tip this week actually isn't going to be using the pattern maker, it's going to be using a different method. And you can create some really cool patterns with this so just check this out okay so you have let's say you want to make a star pattern a star something and so um, you want to go to your shape tool here and go to the star tool and uh, set the stroke to none and just fill black we'll just do it like that for now and so you just draw, hold down shift and draw the star. So you have a star that is level and even. And then, you know, it doesn't have to be large. You, do, you really don't want it to be large. You want it to be small, maybe, um, you know, roughly 95 points. You know, that's not, that's not very big at all. But uh, you'll see why in a little bit. And so... If you want to create, what you want to do is you want to create multiples of this star and then space it out evenly. And the way to do that really uh, quickly and easily is to hold down your Option or Alt key and then when you click and drag, uh, add Shift and it will, uh, you can drag it out in a straight line and space it ever so often. And so... Uh, that looks okay to me. I'm going to let go. And so that now that I've done that, if, uh, if I want to create another one that's equal space over here, all I have to do is hit Command-D. And I think since I let go, you don't want to click off of it because it will... Okay, so with it still selected and not clicking off of it because it tries to do your last action. And so just hit Command-D, Command-D, Command D, as many as you want. Once once you've got a few out there, what you can do is click and drag to highlight all your stars that you made. And the next thing you want to do is go to your brushes panel, and you want to uh, click the flyout menu and click new brush. And so I'm creating a new pattern brush. And so I'll click that and click OK. And all these options will come up. And you can say stars. And you can set the scale to fixed. And these are your different corner options. Uh, what this does is where two stars meet in the, or around your corner, you can specify how Illustrator draws these and create your corners and it does it for your inside corners your straight lines or your sorry your outside corners your straight lines inside corners inside lines and so it you can really have a lot of control over how this looks and you can auto center this or you can auto between it where it just does uh, it does the average in between auto sliced or overlap and so I'll do auto center just so you can see how it looks. And so here you can also control the spacing as well. And so you can say 10% 10, 10 spacing and it will take this into put 10% spacing in between these. But you don't want to do that. You don't want to break it up because this is dash, dash, dash. You just want a continuous line. And so I'll set it back to zero, just so you can see what it can can do. So uh, we're not going to colorize it. We're not going to stretch it to fit or anything. We're not going to flip it across any of the axes. Um, you just click OK, and it creates a brush down here. And so if you want to turn this into a really interesting pattern, you can do it in a matter of seconds and I'm going to show you something really cool. So let's say you take your shape tool 
and you pick a uh, just your ellipse tool and hold down uh, alder option and shift and click and drag out to drag a circle and we're going to flip it to where it just has a stroke no fill at all from here what, what we're going to want to do is uh, click on the rotate tool and instead of trying to rotate your circle just by clicking and dragging what you're going to want to do is um, you see this little uh, crosshairs in the middle here what happens is if you hold down alt or option and click somewhere you can rotate it around a center point and so I'm going to create a tight spiral pattern and to do that all I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this uh, bottom uh, point anchor point here while holding the alt or option key so if you hold alt, hold alt or option and click on your what's going to be your center point click on that and to get an even circle that goes all the way around you're going to want to choose a multiple of 360 whether it's 10 times 36 20 times 18 uh, 2 times 180 you can have 180 circles there which would be really crazy and really just a tight spiral just depends on what you want I'm going to do multiples of 36 degrees and so that will give us about 10 circles and you can see what this how this will work now instead of clicking OK you're going to want to click copy and so if you click copy it rotates it around uh, this being the center point now without deselecting or doing anything don't don't click your mouse or do anything after you do that step because what you want to what you'll want to do is hold down the command or control key and hit the D key and then you just keep doing that over and over again until it works its way back around and you have a perfect spiral. Now if you select that you can take that brush that you created earlier and apply it. And so you can see that you've got large stars and they kind of overlap each other and it's kind of like a cool star explosion effect. But maybe that's not what you want. Maybe you want smaller stars. Well all that is controlled with your stroke and so if you go up into your stroke menu up at the top and you lower the weight it's going to make the star smaller so you get almost this embroidered star effect and I'll zoom in so you can see so you have this whole spiral it's very interesting and sort of it just looks like it goes in and out and in and out and this is the center point this is actually a really cool trick for creating all types of patterns and you can create a pattern out of just about any object you can rotate any kind of shape around in a circle and for example I'll just I'll just do this real quick let's say you wanted to do a pentagon around in a circle and we'll do 18 this time and do it in a copy and you're all the way back around create a real that's a really distinct shape that think about trying to draw this by hand and get it as perfect in uh, that'd take you an hour or two and it still probably wouldn't come out right just, but just to be able to click on a point and make it rotate around another point is is awesome and so so you click this and you can go back to our brushes and select the brush that you want and it creates an interesting star explosion but you can also do it like that so you have a completely different star pattern in just a matter of seconds
Hope you guys find this interesting. I'll let you guys uh, have some fun and play around with this. Um, if you want, it would be very cool if you would go to my site and post a link in the comment section with, with the cool patterns and stuff that you come up with. Um, with the Discuss commenting system, you can actually post uh, pictures. So if you take a screenshot of what you've done or save it as a JPEG, you can actually upload it as an attachment with your comment. I would love for you guys to do this. I'd love to see uh, the crazy things that you guys come up with. Um, if you want to, uh, another quick trick just before I go. If you want to colorize this, you're not you're not stuck with this. You, if you want to be editable, I wouldn't do this. But if you want to just change the color real quick, you can go to expand appearance. And it actually turns it into a fill. And you can change it to whatever color you want. No matter seconds. And you have a light blue spiral star, star pattern. Very cool trick. I'm James George, and this is Creative Beacon.